I'm uh, Brent Denson with the Dimension 3D Printing Group, and I'm here today with David Manning with Utah Valley University. And uh, David, you have some, some very interesting and colorful models on display here that uh, have been produced on the Dimension 3D Printer. Tell me a little bit about uh, uh, how you use the Dimension and, and what you use it for. Well, we use the Dimension Printer in our program as a high school recruiting activity. So we invite surrounding uh, area high school students to produce a 3D model of a car, uh, print it out on the 3D printer, and then we have them produce drawings, we judge their drawings, we uh, judge their cars, and then we bring them all together on, on one day and we run races. So it's similar to a Pinewood Derby race. And uh, we, we judge all of those things together. There is an, a design aspect where they have to meet certain design requirements, but there's also an artistic aspect. Uh, once they meet those requirements and qualify to race, then we race, uh, we take the winners, we have a barbecue, we have an award ceremony, we give away prizes, and it has been a very good way to bring high school students in to see our program and, and get to meet us. Excellent, excellent. It sounds like an exciting program, and by looking at the, uh, the designs and the colors here, uh, the students must really get into this. What about uh, uh, the, the enthusiasm and the excitement level? Is, is it something that they really jump into? They really do, and as long as their instructor uh, doesn't hold them back. They get into it. They go crazy. We have designs of everything from Batmobiles to spiders. Uh, the the sky's the limit as far as the artistry that they can use in their in their design. As long as they meet the design requirements, they can make the car look like anything they want. When they come to race, we we set them up all around the track, and they hoot and holler and have a great time. Excellent, excellent. Now I notice here it looks like. Uh, right down from the, the trophy to uh, the, the, the kind of the, the track and even the, uh, this, this box here that the car has to fit within, looks like it was all made on the Dimension printer from, from start to finish. It was. We try to do everything on the printer that we can to expose the kids to everything about 3D printing. We think that's, that's the future and that's a big part of what we want this contest to be all about. Excellent, excellent. I know uh, Education has made a, a lot of improvements in delivering the latest technology from a hardware standpoint like Dimension as well as software. Uh, how do you see the kids uh, in a, in a pre-engineering type of environment responding to 3D CAD software? Well, it, it's really opened the door to the final phase of what education should all be about. In, in the past, we have been able to conceptualize and we've been able to draw plans but we have never had the ability to have a final product in their hands. And so this is the final step in a, in a complete experience for, for a student to go all the way from concept to finished product. And it just adds an element that makes it more exciting and more interesting to everybody. That sounds great. Now, you, you, you mentioned uh, uh, on the onset that uh, you use this as a recruitment tool. How's that been working out for you uh, as far as your numbers? Uh, very well. Uh, we, we haven't tracked actual numbers, but we do see many of the kids who show up and join into the Derby, we do see them in our program the next year. That's so great. Very good. And we will have this year uh, between 150 and 200 high school students come and race with us. Fantastic. David, it sounds like you have a, a great program. You're getting a lot of uh, students interested in continuing their education as well as uh, in a uh, possibly an engineering uh, type of curriculum. So uh, congratulations and uh, thank you for talking with us today. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.